Hey, what's up? This is Marcus from Machine City Audio, and today I'm gonna do a real quick video to show you how to route machine into Studio One. All right, check it out. All right, so before I get started, the first thing I wanna point out is that this isn't the only way to route Machina into Studio One, but this is the way I do it because this is what works for me and it's familiar to me because this is almost like the way I used to do it in Pro Tools. All right, so let me get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have an instrument track loaded up in Studio One. And you can tell it's an instrument track by the little keyboard right here. And then you wanna come on over to the right-hand side where your instruments and effects and everything is at your plugins and you want to be under the instrument tab and look for machine too which i have right there all right and so i'm going to drag that over into the instrument track and now that is loaded up so now i'm going to pull the beat up that i have all right so let me play the beat for you right quick so you can hear what i got going on Okay, so let me close this out right quick. All right, so what you wanna do is come down to where machine is at and click on the arrow and you wanna expand it. All right, so machine one out is already selected and that's how you heard the full instrumental. That is the main out at this moment. All right, so what you wanna do is select how many of these you need. I'll just select three of them for now. All right, so now that we have that, what you wanna do is create an audio track. That one's named Piano, and it's an audio track. Now what you do is come down to where it says Input, and then you scroll down to Instruments, and then you wanna go to Machine Out 2, and then you hit OK. Now make sure you have the monitor button in so you can hear what's coming through. All right, so you wanna hit that. Open Machine back up. Now we're on the Piano track. All right, so now I'm under Group in Machine, and you see where it says audio, and then it has destination master. So what you wanna do is click in there and go to external two. All right, let me close this out again. I'm gonna turn this down because this might be loud. So now you're gonna hear the piano track and you're gonna also see it playing through the machine out two, and then you'll also see it playing through this track as well. So as you can see, that's pretty simple. You know, it's not that hard to do. All right, so let's do it for one more track. All right, so we're gonna create another track and we're gonna call this one the kick track. All right, and for now, I'm just gonna keep it in stereo, but if you wanna switch it to mono, you know, you can do that as well. All right, so pretty much the same thing. You come down to input and you go to instruments and then you wanna to go to machine out three this time. Hit okay. Again, make sure that you hit the monitor button so you can hear it. Open machine back up. Now, what I wanna say for this one is that the drums are actually, you can do this a couple ways with the drums. You can either have it play as one loop or you can do it with separate sounds if you wanna separate the kick, snare, hi-hat, and everything else. So for this example, I'm gonna separate the sounds and I'm just gonna have the kick play. All right, so if you see down here, I have the kick. Now it's pretty much set up the same way, except for you go to sounds, and then you wanna route the kick where it says group destination. You wanna send that to external three. All right, and close this out again. Make sure that's selected, it is. Turn this down, because it might be kinda loud. And then we're gonna play this. So now you hear the kick in the piano. All right, I'm gonna do it for one more track just so you can see it one more time. So we're gonna set up another track and we're gonna call this one, I think it's a rim shot. So just call it rim. All right, so same thing pretty much. And then you come down to where it says input, go to instruments, and then you wanna to go to machine out four. And then hit okay. Click the monitor button. Open machine back up. Now you don't have to close machine out every time. I'm just doing this 
you know, for the video. All right, and so here is the rim underneath. And then you see it's already set on sound. You go to group destination. Then you wanna put that on external four. So however many drum tracks you have, you can do this, you know, plenty of times. You can go to external five, six, all the way up to 16 however many drum tracks you might have. All right, and the last thing you wanna do is record these sounds into Studio One so you can mix and master them. All right, so the recording is pretty easy. I have the three of these tracks selected. All you do is hit record, and now they're ready to go. And make sure you turn off the record for the instrument track because nothing's going to that track anyway, so you don't need to worry about recording to that one. All right, so let's record these sounds into Studio One now. So if you have any questions or anything you need to ask me, please hit me up. I will try to answer all the questions I can and please subscribe to that channel. Once again, I am Marcus with Machine City Audio. Peace and until next time.